of the many priorities for the governor this year is to move forward with some specific projects to reimagine the canal, the Erie Canal, of course. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski went to Canastota, where one of those early projects will occur. What was once a transportation corridor has transformed over the past 200 years into more of a recreational resource. Our proposal was to take that one step further and make it a place that instead of driving to on the weekend, you could just simply step out your front door and access the waterway and the trail. It's probably hard to imagine looking at this two and a half acre site right now, but Madison County planners have the vision that will look something like this like having your own private backyard, but then also yeah. having a park. Um, so we're hoping to do a, a mix of housing here okay. so that there's like a variety of folks that can, can live here. The state likes it so much, they selected this project out of 140 other proposals from around the state. New York committing now one and a half million dollars towards it. Money Kowalczyk says will help attract a top developer to further define what this pocket neighborhood will look like. Housing, certainly. Some mixed use, probably, but definitely reactivating the waterfront with community space. Connecting um, some, someone to that um, was really, seemed important to us. And it seemed like the, the way that the canal is being used yeah. today. Another thing that really excites them about this project is that this new canal side neighborhood is really just a few hundred feet down the road from the center of the village of Canastota. People could walk from there or they could walk over to this facility here um, just in a few moments. I'm really excited for the canal because for our communities, uh, the canal is something that brings people from the, around the world. To places like this all along the Erie Canal. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. And we're told Madison County is looking for a developer right now and hopes to start construction next year.